Jen on the right track in emergency situations. It's what Amtrak and local first responders are doing to make sure everyone's all aboard on safety when passenger rail service returns to South Mississippi. Bill Snyder shows us more. Amtrak, we have an incident response team. One first responder said it best. You don't want to be handing out business cards in the middle of disaster response. It's one thing to get the knowledge, but it's another thing to know who you're working with. Emergency management officials, first responders, and law enforcement officers from all over Harrison County met in Gulfport on Wednesday with Amtrak officials for passenger train emergency management training. The mutual aid aspect of this is very important. No one department in anywhere can handle a a uh, huge disaster or a huge incident where you have multiple people and, and, and problems. We're building relationships across the Gulf Coast by doing training like this and the meeting we had previously with the police chiefs. We want people who are emergency responders along the Gulf Coast to have as much familiarity with our vehicles as they have with the vehicles that go by on I-10. We definitely need to know where you take these personnel to. The goal is simple, getting on the same page and on the same track. We need to do everything we can to make sure the responders here are ready, that we've made connections to the responders here. When Amtrak rolls through South Mississippi a little bit later this year. Harrison County, Jackson County, Hancock County, we all back one another up. In Gulfport, Bill Snyder, WLOX News Now. And when the Amtrak trains start running, there will be two trains running eastbound and westbound between New Orleans and Mobile with morning and afternoon departures on each end of the route.